The pop-up museum displaying memorabilia of yesteryear is at the Four Ways Mall north of Johannesburg. And while in previous years, SASCOG organized fun runs to celebrate this day, this year the Federation came up with something unique that is both educational and inspirational. The museum will give the general public an opportunity to learn more about their sporting heroes from past Olympic Games and their achievements as well as inspire the young ones. We decided to put something up that uh, South Africans can come and engage with at Day in Asia. Um, and I think it's, it's a great initiative because young people can come here and see what uh, South Africa has done at the Olympics, what we have achieved and what the Olympics mean. They actually feel globally inspired and they come to see this, they'll be very inspired. As well as for the public also, I think it's also in part it's also important to educate our public about Olympism, about the Olympic Day. What does it mean to be an, to be an Olympian, and, 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 and what does it take? What, what has been happening? And this this pop-up museum is it's a great place for the for the nation, for the public to come and view it here in Forwards Mall. Among the memorabilia is artwork celebrating the achievements of Penny Haynes, who remains the only female swimmer to have won both the 100 and 200 meters breaststroke events at the Games. She achieved this at the Atlanta Games in 1996, the same year Josiah Tuhuan won gold in the marathon. What we've done, you'll see starting at 1992, we've got one tracksuit from each of the Olympic Games from 92 up until now to Tokyo. And again, we're really grateful to the athletes that uh, gave us these tracksuits or lent us these tracksuits. And I think it's quite interesting to see the evolution of the, of the tracksuit as it goes along. The pop-up museum will be open to the general public until Saturday. Pesinka, ABC News, Four Ways.